a guy that's given them obviously a big lift, is the guy they've been missing all season, Mr. Trey Lyles. And uh, it, it seems like he makes a big difference whenever he's out there. He's constantly playing at critical points and whatnot. I mean, have you seen an uptick in terms of play just because Lyles has been back? And again, it's only been two games and they've technically been one and one. So, But I just feel like just on the eye test, it's been jumping off the off the screen. Yeah, I mean, nothing's screaming at me so far, but it's just so nice having Trey in there. I mean, he's just... He's just great, you know? I mean, I guess that's all that it says is that he's a great player. He's going to knock down threes. He's hitting, what, like 6 of 13, I think he wrote. So that's already a high, pretty high clip for him from three, which is important. And, I, yeah, I mean, it's just nice having him back there. He's such a good role player. He does his job so well. And, I mean, he, you still had him in the locker room, but he's definitely a leader on that court, too, even though he maybe not like a Fox a bonus leader, but... I think it's like knowing Trey Lyles is there and has your back. I think that's important for those players, especially when you saw um, when uh, Lyles got in the face of Brooke Lopez and stuff. I mean, he's shown that as a leader on the court. So it's nice, you know, just his presence in general. I think it's just a little boost in morale for everyone, even though that they couldn't beat the Pelicans on Wednesday. Yeah, he's just such a steady, confident, does the right thing every time for the most part, high effort on the boards, running the floor, getting into open spots on the perimeter. He's 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 great, but he's just also that he's that glue guy that just allows for so much versatility in terms of what Mike Brown can throw out there because he can play the four, he can play the five. He can even kind of, you even saw him, I think in that first game with New Orleans, they had, I believe, Lyles, Vizenkov, and a center out there. And I think Vizenkov was technically the three, but, you know, that two through four kind of being interchangeable sort of feel of Mike Brown's team and a lot of the modern NBA. It just, he's so versatile and he gives you kind of a little bit of everything he can plug into and offer you a bunch of different things. He can allow you to get other guys that can come in and, and, and do other things just because he can play so many different positions and guard different guys. He's so important to the team. And I know he's not technically a top five player or whatnot, but it's just like in terms of a guy that is a star in his role, that is, and maybe the role is not huge, but it's, in terms of filling it, he's a little irreplaceable. You know, mm-hmm. you can't really plug in anybody to be like Lyles in terms of coming off the bench and doing what he does. It's just hard not to appreciate the guy. Even if you're not a fan of the team, if you watch the Kings for just a little bit, I feel like everybody would pick Lyles as a top three player in terms of their, their personal favorite. Because he just does the right thing. He just plays the right way. And also, you know, he just seems like a really down to earth and, you know, guy who's been around the league forever bounced around a lot he's seen a lot of different things probably faced a lot of different like challenges in terms of being a professional and he's just so level-headed and cool and you can see it in the way he plays he's smooth you know there's something about him so I have nothing but good things to say about Lyles and I just think in a two-game span from the shooting to the rebounding to the help he gave defensively I know they didn't stop Zion but on Tuesday I feel like he had a couple of really good moments late I think he got schooled a couple times by Zion, I think in the late first, early second quarter. But by the end of it, I think he forced a turnover. He helped defend a few shots. And it didn't make a huge difference. I think Zion basically had essentially the same game. But he he made it a little bit harder on him. And I think basically through his first two games, I mean, it's hard not to give Lyles like an A in terms of just coming in and doing doing what he did last season, which again was being a star in that role. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would personally say Trey Lyles is irreplaceable for his role on this team. Like, you have Sabonis, irreplaceable, and so is Fox. But, like, Lyles, for for his role, right? Like, I I could see you trading, like, I I mean, I can't see you. But, like, if you traded Malik Monk for, like, the next top six men in the league, like, sure. Like, I could see that, you know, being plausible. You probably wouldn't want to mess up chemistry. But honestly, like what Lyles does, you're not going to find, you, you wouldn't trade him for that. Like we're talking about these trades and the Kings are, you know, involved in talks with Levine and, uh, you know, and Ananobi Siakam. I mean, Lyles just has to be off the table just because what he does in his small role, I guess off the bench and stuff, his small role, maybe it's not small, but, you know, he's not a starter, not even like the first guy off the bench like Monk, but he's just invaluable, really. And that's just high praise for what he does. It's kind of crazy. I haven't really seen a guy like Lyles on the Kings in a minute where he, he'll come in, play, what, 18 minutes a game, but make such a, you know, lasting impact. 
And one where it's like, you can't get rid of this guy. Like, you need him on your bench. 